Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everybody. So if you hear some noise in the background, that is my husband doing his thing. I got to stop a little something here. Got to make sure I don't have any thing popping up on my phone. So I got the do not disturb on. All right. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about today, like I said before, one of my one of my resolutions for the new year is to do this thing every day and have something to talk about. And so what I wanted to talk about was the second coming of Russell Brand. So my husband sent me this article in relevantmagazine.com about Russell Brand finding basically spirituality, or you could even say religion. And all right, so I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but a lot of people really, they like a lot of the things Jesus says, right? They like the Sermon on the Mount. They like that he fed poor, you know, poor people. They like that he went ahead and ate with um, the, you know, the prostitutes and the tax collectors and the sinners and everything else. They like all of that, but they just don't want to bend a knee and say, okay, he is Lord of Lord and I have to give my life up to him and what the Bible says is true because Jesus didn't just say go out and, you know, have fun and love people. He also said, you know, to believe in his father, which is what the Bible tells us about. So this is one of those examples of people finding religion, spirituality, but not taking Jesus very seriously. All right. So this is what he says. My personal feeling is the teachings of Christ are more relevant now than they've ever been. Right. And that is something people say, oh yeah, Jesus, you know, he taught great stuff and it was, it was awesome and everything. And, and, you know, we should love people and we should love people. It's not that it's not it, but it's amazing how people, Christianity can be under attack everywhere. And I just saw Stephen Molyneux about that, where Twitter, if you're a white and Christian, they're looking for you. <laughs> So I will, I will post that in the description in my YouTube video that I do about this. And I will put it in the links in my Twitter. But the next thing he says that makes me go, okay, so not, he's not a Christian. He just sort of likes what Jesus says is he continues. Here's the quote. He continues when stripped of the cultural inflection of the time when it was first written and is variously being translated, there is an undeniable truth. So basically forget that. Jesus was a real guy, a real Jewish guy, a carpenter. Forget that, you know, uh, the Pharisees did this, that, and the other, whatever it is they did. Forget that it has any context at all to the world. Just forget about all that and just sort of distill it down to what he sort of said. And the person who's writing this for Relevant says, yes, Russell Brand, that Russell Brand, believes the world needs Jesus message now more than ever. It's something he thinks a lot about. So he says that he feels that the world is profoundly broken. Technology, pop culture, and social media have accelerated the worst impulses of human nature. And in his view, never has there been a time in history that humanity has more desperately needed the message of Jesus. So I think that's interesting that he's okay with the message of Jesus, but not the Godhood of Jesus. And you'll see this everywhere. Jesus himself even said that they will hate me. So they're going to hate you. But people like they love the message of Jesus. Every, every time you see this, even in the Bible where there's, there's all these people following Jesus and there's all these people doing and, 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 listening to what he has to say, but whenever he says, leave everything and follow me, when he says to like the rich guy, which I was talking about yesterday, when he says, give up your money and follow me, that's when it comes, that's when it, when the rubber hits the road, people don't want to do it. They will not recognize his Godhead. They will not bend a knee and recognize that, you know, that is where they need to be is with Jesus. So he continues, there's a famous quote, every man who knocks on a brothel door, he's looking for God. 
He says, crack houses and these dens of suffering and illicit activity, they're all people trying to feel good, trying to feel connected. People are trying to escape. People are trying to get out of their own heads. To me, this is a spiritual impetus. So he's saying that he agrees with Christianity. He agrees with like some of the things Jesus says. But once again, down here, he also talks about how, you know, it's just... It's just a spiritual thing. Like it's not a relationship with God, which is what the Bible talks about. You have a relationship with God. That's different. So what it says here is that Brand now feels the answer to breaking out of this vicious cycle, which is, you know, the sin nature that we all have, not giving into it. Not just as an individual struggling to get clean from drugs, but as a culture is a spiritual one. It's one he thinks can be found in Jesus. Now, this sounds a lot like, oh, yeah, he really likes Jesus. But you go back and he's talking about you have to strip it all. You have to strip it down to its basic idea. And also, let's see, down here towards the bottom, he's talking about how he he became sober because his manager staged an intervention, right? And... Then he started to, he got into the 12-step program, which is a religious program. You have to recognize a higher power, but it does not have to be, you know, Jesus. It just has to be, oh, well, there's a God out there. And there, that's a big deal. It's a big, it's, it matters that it's Jesus and not just God. It matters that it's Jesus and not like Buddha. Because in Christianity, that's what, that's the difference. Like you can have love, you can have, um, all of these things, you can love people, but if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died on the cross for your sins, and that, he's, that, he, that he rose in three days, and that he's coming back, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it is a belief system based on that. So here he says that we're basically, he wants, basically what he wants to do is run a conscious, conscious program, right? So here it is. So what I've kind of come across mentally is that either we are working on an unconscious program or a conscious program. So if we're not consciously running a program, we're running on the unconscious program of our past and of our culture. That's what I wanted to understand an alternative to. So he just sees like some of the concepts of Christianity as an alternative to just winging it. <laughs> Which it is, but if it, it's not complete if you don't accept the Godhood of Jesus. So, I, just, I love what he says here, part of the 12 steps, which includes things like humbly asking God to remove your shortcomings and things like that. That's all good. But he also talked about this on a Joe Rogan podcast where he says basically the same stuff. But what he also says that he isn't, he doesn't ascribe to any religion. He just takes the best thing out of all of them. Okay. And here you can see that when he says, he explains, my understanding of what, re oops, hold on. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. My understanding of what religion means altered, he explains, because when I think about the aim, the purpose of religion, I think it becomes when you put aside the social institutions that spring up around religions and all their strains and various forms of strands, I believe that the purpose of religion is love and connection, to feel connected to one another and to feel at ease with who we are, a kind of oneness, a kind of wholeness. So as I began to understand that, this sort of superficial language of religion seemed less relevant. Okay. So basically, once again, he's still this bohemian guy. He's just a spiritual bohemian guy still, right? He's not saying Jesus Christ is the answer. He's just saying Jesus Christ has some concepts that are the answer. And I would be willing to start with someone there. However, I would also want to look at them and say, so if he has concepts that are the answer, why won't you at least, you know, what is stopping you from going to the next step? What more information do you need? What else can, I, can, can we say? And here, again, you can see it's not Jesus that he's for. It's just religion. It's just He just thinks religion is awesome. And if you can get religion down to just loving each other, hippie, 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 
and don't don't get me wrong i'm a hippie i love nature and stuff like that but but excuse me relevant magazine i think is like a christian magazine or something and people like to do this where they bring these guys out and say look this guy thinks jesus's concepts are good it's like yes of course they do we all know that the concepts inside the bible are right when god gives us a conscience when we're born we're given that knowledge that's how it's another way that we know to come to him it's it's another way that he calls us to him right so but what he doesn't say is that jesus is the way what he also says that you can see this right it says brand realized that oh, i keep doing that i'm on the website itself if you're watching on twitter so okay so brand realized that cultivating a spiritual life could help free himself from the strongholds of addiction by treating the root cause of the pain he'd attempted to dull with drugs and being raised in the uk a traditionally christian country he turned to the christianity he began to implementing spiritual practices every day so you know form but no belief he says because i come from a christian culture a lot of the language of prayer that i use is christian he says the lord's prayer every day and tries to connect it with those words mean so he starts talking about the lord's prayer and how prayer and digging into the teachings of christ has helped keep him on the past the path to personal recovery which i'm glad for here's the thing for me it is amazing how it's not amazing but it's it's awesome how you can see the bible at work here all right where here's a guy who will not say jesus is lord will not give his life to christ will not do that but will take the concepts the living word concepts and apply it to his life and be changed by them be saved by them and this is exactly what the bible says will happen when you start to apply them now i hope as he goes along to do this right that he does take jesus as his savior that he does realize where he's going but i just don't think he will i hope so i'm going to pray for him there's another way you can see this where they start talking and this is what he says i think continually about what christ meant by the afterlife he explains and for me it's that when you are disavowed of the illusion that the material will fulfill you you enter the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of heaven is spread upon the earth and that's what he said in his joe rogan podcast too where for him it's more like a buddhist thing where you don't become you know you're not all about the physical stuff and you don't care as much about material things material things are not about are not your world and the bible actually the bible says that but it also actually says that there's nothing wrong with having material stuff it's the love of it that gets you there and he says here he's talking about having material things material stuff fulfilling you so i guess that's actually the same thing but he's just he's not taking it all the way <laughs> so i thought that was interesting here it is for me when i see this this is someone else saying okay yeah bible has good concepts but jesus being god's son all of that stuff no no we can't do that can't do that but the bible has good concepts that have saved my life but we can't do jesus as god we can't do that what do you guys think about this i think it's the bible playing itself out i think here we have the bible showing we have the con another concept in the bible playing itself out showing god showing us hey look i can save you not only from yourself in this physical in this physical way but also spiritually if you accept me as god's son and all this other things you know so god you know god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and blah 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 and i can't remember it all i'm a horrible christian i know but i can't remember it all but that is the most important part it, it, it it's great that he doesn't want to he doesn't want to have material things be his center anymore and he that doesn't fulfill him because he realizes it doesn't that's great but unless you realize that jesus is lord and and christ and everything it's it doesn't go anywhere 
And it sounds awesome, though. It sounds like he really gets it. I just don't want, I think people need to be like, okay, so what does he think of Jesus himself? And what he thinks about Jesus himself is that he was a good man, a good teacher. And he has some great ideas that he needs to apply to his life to make his life better. But once again, ignoring the Godhead. Okay, I believe that when Jesus said, they will hate me and they will hate you and they will love themselves, this is what I think he's talking about. Not only did they physically actually hate him and hang him on a cross and beat him, but now I just saw a story uh, a couple weeks ago about how they're trying once again to say Jesus was not a historical figure. We're not really sure who he was. And here we have this other guy saying, oh, Jesus, you know, has some great concepts and biblical concepts are good and they've saved me and they've helped me stay sober. But he's, you know, it, it's not the whole thing. So what do you guys think? Do you think people do this a lot? Do you think this is kind of what he was talking about? To me, this is it. This is what God was talking about. They don't, they will not bow that knee. They will not do it. They will be saved in every way possible, but they won't do it any other way. Like <laughs> you would think with all of that, it would be easier. Just say, yeah, okay, Jesus, son of God, why not? I mean, everything else works. <laughs> and for me, this is a biblical proof, right? You can look at these guys and see that they understand that the Bible is going to help them. I've got to find it, but my one of my next videos I want to do is on this guy who did the seven day. He worked for six days, rest on the seventh, and it was the best resting time frame that he ever did. I mean, he tried a bunch of different ones. He tried like four. I shouldn't say a bunch. He tried four, and then the biblical one was the fifth one, and that's the one that worked the best. Gee, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> So people want to know why, you know, one of the reasons, one of the other reasons I believe and when I say, you know, it works every time because it does, it works every time. Russell Brand has been helped and has been basically saved by the concepts in the Bible. He will not, you know, recognize Christ, but he'll take the concepts and the Bible has the best concepts. It has the concepts that work. It has the concepts that have always been around that will work. I just, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm glad that he is better. I'm glad that he's doing well. I just, I want, I wish he'd go the next step to become a Christian. I know he probably won't because he's still this bohemian guy who wants to stay sort of like a hippie. And he's taking Jesus as sort of like a Buddha figure in a way and sort of doing things like that. I am going to link you guys, like I said, the Joe Rogan podcast where he explains it a little bit better, where it's not written like this, where they're kind of trying to say, you know, like, oh, he might be a Christian. No, he's not. Definitely not. But it is, again, two or three biblical proofs in there where one... The Bible works. Those concepts work every time. Two, here it is again saying that they deny Jesus or they hate him and, you know, but they but they love his concepts. They'll do that all day long. And then three, the idea that there will be people who have this, have this view of spirituality where, you know, they, they love spirituality, but they, they can't do Jesus. They can't love him. They can't praise him. They can't do that. He didn't, he didn't do any of that. So that's my broadcast for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. Tithing has been on my mind, so I might do that. Until then, guys, remember to read your Bible and I'll see you later. Bye.